nasal polyps and chronic sinusitis can actually um, promote sleep apnea. And so that's, that's part of the things that we're looking to improve. Most of the patients say the quality of life is reduced if they can't breathe through their nose. If they have congestion, the nose is running all the time, it can be very uncomfortable. Sleep apnea is basically snoring that's excessive or gaps in your breathing where you have hypopnea or true apnea where you're holding your breath for periods of time and lowering your oxygenation. Uh, there's apnea that relates to the nose, there's apnea that relates to your tongue and your oral cavity. So obviously if your nose is blocked, you have to breathe through your mouth continually. And as you move around at night, you tend to be snoring more and have apnea. And the types of apnea that are important are if you're lowering your oxygenation significantly, um, if it's below a certain point, like 85%, you, you don't wanna have silent heart attacks or hypertension from it. Uh, it can, if you're older, promote certain types of cardiac disease. Um, and obviously uh, your sleep patterns have something to do with how you feel the next day. Um, you need a certain amount of REM sleep to be um, rested. Remarkably, you only need 15 to 25% of your sleep to be REM, to be rested. But there are people who come to me who have one or 2% REM sleep. And uh, if you can get their REM up to 15 to 25%, then uh, the patient will be the best friends with their doctors for the rest of their life.